What a lovely day. I just love it, don't you, when you can actually smell spring in the air. Look, Johnny, we're all family men here. With dads, who want the best future for our kids. Why don't you and I go somewhere, discuss this, come to some kind of arrangement? Yeah, what sort of arrangement? <sighs> Whatever you want, man. And I'll make sure that he sticks to it. Johnny, I'll guarantee it. I want more than that. Well, like what? Just more. Danny will take over now. Well, you're not doing it yourself. Nah, I can't be bothered. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a nice hot bath, and then I'm going to make some breakfast for me and my daughter. Well, I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, Johnny. But to be honest, you've been a pain in the jacks. <laughs> you really think you're going to get away with this? Well, I have so far, haven't I? Danny, when you're finished, call me. Got a question for you. What? Well, our car's right out front. The obvious, isn't it? Taking it to a crusher's down Dover. There's a few speed cameras on the way. You get a few points on your licence, but don't suppose you'll be too fussed. Suppose not. So whose idea was the speed cameras? Mine. Why? Well, it was just a nice touch. <sighs> if Wolf could see you now, eh? Wouldn't reckon you two the pair of kings you think you are? <laughs> well, you know Wolf, do you? Yeah, I live there. With my cousin Alfie and my brother. Alfie? He's a friend of the family. Yeah, I ain't my cousin. Never said you were. I'm just saying that uh, Alfie's a friend of the family. That would make you uh, Jake's brother. He drinks in our boozer. Jake can do what he likes. I used to go out with your sister. We might have got married. Then we'd all have been related. What went wrong? Well, she choked me. But I don't care, because she's a dirty slapper. It's not very nice. All she did was go on about you two. Grant and Phil, Grant and Phil. Like you was Batman and Judge Dredd or something. But you don't look like that much now, do you? No, you're the someone now, Danny. Yeah, you know it. On the up, smart, Johnny's right-hand man. And Johnny is a clever bloke. Yeah, he is. Well, he's got you doing the dirty work. I call that clever. He ain't dirty work to me. I'm just putting down a couple of dangerous dogs. I don't mean that. I mean the graft. The digging. Two graves in woodland. I mean, you ever dug in woodland before? It's a nightmare. Root systems. Root systems. You should have got your rotavator or something, a garden spade's taking the mick. I mean, you're going to be here all day. Bad back, blisters. So? So he hasn't even given you the right tools for the job. You're supposed to be his right-hand man. Ain't showing you much respect, is he? I am. He trusts me. <laughs> for now. Shut up! I mean, how do you think Johnny survived this long and never done a stretch inside, eh? Uh, cos he's clever. Uh, cos he never lets anyone get that close. Anyone know too much, they might grass. Yeah, but I won't. Think about it, Danny. I mean, how many long-termers has Johnny got on his books? As soon as you do something for him, your card's marked. Then when you fall out of favour, that's it. Bada-bing. Look at me and Phil. Yeah, but you two never worked for him. Our old man did. <laughs>